Hey up everyone, and welcome back to the North for another episode of Battle Brothers of Flesh and Faith DLC with us playing as the Mighty Mighty Oath Takers. So as a quick tidbit for all you cool cats out there who are waiting for more Dav Call Aid Cult Cultist content, I suppose you could say, like DKKCC? Whatever. Anyway. So currently, the Legend of the Mod still hasn't been updated, so you can't use it with this DLC installed. So I'm still waiting for them to update it before I can then continue our story and foray into the cultist lands, as it were. Um, so just bear with me. As soon as they make an update which works with all the new DLC and the current di and like the past DLC and everything, next episode straight up. But until then, we're just going to have to live with playing as the Oath Takers, which isn't such a bad thing, is it? Anyway, so in between the last episode and now, there has been a few changes. We bump into one group of guys when I was walking up here to find some new contracts, and I found some new contracts we're going to do, but the guys weren't exactly weak or small-armed. So you'll notice that Wraith has now got a two-handed sword. He has a war brand, because that's what one of them had. I'm going to try him with a two-handed weapon, because I know that's what he originally wanted in the first place. And with the old uh, swords, as it were, when you get a mastery, you have a 50% lower threshold to inflict injuries with... Oh, Gash is in the other sword. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Anyway, he's going to inflict a lot of injuries and then kill a lot of people. Uh, Geji's drunk, classic. Obviously... A lot of people did say he wanted to equip the wolf pelt mantle, so to be fair, I'm going to try and find some more wolf so I can do it at once. Someone said to equip it to wolf, which is obviously the obvious choice, I don't know why I didn't think that to begin with. But he has currently got a bit of crap armor, and I don't want to waste it on a piece of armor because I can't remove it afterwards. So I'll wait until I get a bit better armor for him, and then give it to him. And then make another one for whoever else. And I also, like I said in the comments last time, might give some throw weapons to Baffle Bogo so it could be a bit more of a hybrid person and throw some spears in the backs of our enemies. Anyway, we've got a lot more of our friends to find, but first and foremost, let's go get a fight. Oh, we also got a regular crossbow instead of a small life crossbow, so Roderick should be doing some more damage down the line. All well and good. And I changed Ingr Wow, there's a lot of updates. And I changed Igris Draken to actually having a hammer or, well, a military pick. And I like to think it a bit cold as Draken's Tooth, because Dragon's Tooth, it looks like a tooth. You know how it goes. Anyway, that's enough from me. Let's go get into our first fight of the day. I'm pretty sure it's just brigands. Or, you know, it could be brigands with a necromancer friend, because that is always the way it goes at the moment. How many tools do we need? 10 out of 20, absolutely fine. We're all in pretty good condition. Who's there? Some poachers and some raiders. To be fair, I could wait until nighttime because we've only got one ranged person anyway. So, behoove us to do that. Although they might get away from us because we are going over a massive mountain. This is the end of, literally the end of the map, mate. Come back. Little bastards. By all accounts, this should be a piece of piss. By all accounts. To which I mean, we'll see. It is one snowy day. I need some trees in the way of them shooting, I guess. Or oh, they might use them as cover. Oh, never mind, they're gonna hit us. Because why wouldn't they? Move up slightly, and you stay behind him. Run the gauntlet, as it were. Just shields up, everyone. They do have, technically, they have missile superiority. I need to get some more backliner missile then. I really do. Okay, Roderick, who can you shoot? Yes, you can shoot that one. I assume he's blocked by the tree. It'd be a bit of a piss take if he wasn't being blocked by the tree. In it. Right. Not today. Not this time, chum. Oh, he's running. Still gonna hit him anyway. Fire! Never mind. Keep them shields up. Right. Go around. This might be a bit of a jog, Grimold, but go around. Can I get there and stab him? Not really. What a sad day. Shield up. 
And shield up. Yeah, come down here, why not? Can we lock him in? We can. But he will try and have a go, because he thinks he's hard enough. So we need to learn him a thing or two about a thing or two. Can I get down here and stab? Not quite, not yet, but next turn for sure. Ah, oh, god damn it. That is some damage. That was some miss. Jesus, wept. Remember when I said this was supposed to be easy? Well, obviously that changed, but... Shouldn't really be by that much. Right, you're running at least. Uh, that's me. Oh, you dickhole. Alright, get over there. Oh, you are bleeding out a bit. Your daddy, you're not looking so great either. Steven, in you go. Really? Can't kill a routing man? Someone please kill the routing man. Thank you. Right, lock down that guy. You've missed. Good. You've wasted. Well, not wasted, but... Oh, boy. Get him. Nice. I'm going to stay back slightly, because spears. The tiniest of stabs. Oh, God. Oh, really? Man, oh, man. Some of these misses are terrible. Terrible, I say. Bonk. Careful now. Everybody be very careful now. Don't know what's coming around the bend. Oh my god, stop it with a stabbing... Stab him with a knife, man. That ain't cool. Wow. Great shield. God, your daddy's not really doing too well, is he? Did he hit something? Well, he definitely hit something. No club today, chum. Right, he's basically dead. Thank you. Can't you switch? Not really. Can you hit? Alright. Yeah, I don't think he was going to, was he? Oh, man. All these ca Rafe is loving a bit of decapitation. I'll tell, the tell you that much. And Grimald's gonna join him! Look at that! A lot of just headless bodies in the snow for some reason. Couldn't tell you why. 118 XP for Steven for getting two kills. Your daddy got one kill, Wraith got two kills, Grimald got one kill. We've got a few more days of this. Got a better hat. Got a better hat. Helmet, you know what I mean. Got another hooked blade. We've got some throwing axes, which I could maybe give to Baffle. Although, where's Quick Hands in the mix? Next level. Okay, now we're to the next level. Right, back we go. And then there's another contract which just takes us uh, to another town. It's just a delivery quest. Not like a convoy quest, but just a delivery quest. Which will be nice, easy, close, and shut. And hopefully we find some men, some men, out of the next town. I hope. No one, nobody leveled up. Nobody leveled up. How many tools do I need? Ten's not so bad. Ten's really not that bad. Yeah, I'll take me 500 crowns, Sivu player. I don't really need all this garbage. Where's that there helmet for 110? Is that an upgrade to our... You are slowly going up in the You will eventually get to wear this helmet once again. Not yet. Not yet. What are you on, 85? I think you could lose. It's time to lose the Undertaker's hat. It's time to wear some real armor. I say that, you were in 65, which is... Eh, it's okay. And you were drunk slash hung over for that fight, so no wonder you were getting hit so much. But you were absolutely loving it. And that's what's important. Uh, right, has anyone got anything better, for better or worse, I suppose? Not really. Does that actually give you vision obscurity? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay, fair enough. I was just curious. 
Cool, right. Well, we got two mallets, so I'm just going to sell one of them because I don't need them both. I know who I'm going to give it to. I just need to find him and hire him. I'll sell the more well-adjusted one. Get rid of a stick. Uh, I'm good for swords for the time being. I will find some more before we get to the next bunch of people who want swords. I'll keep a set of that. Get rid of that. Uh, one shield for that. Me Ooh, da. That one. Okay, okay. Right. On to the next contract, and let's go to the next place very quickly. Once again, very uneventful. Always when we get to Teeth Enforced, nothing really happens. I don't know why, but everyone just loves taking stuff to Teeth Enforced. It's very weird. Whatever. I suppose it is like a small little village trading town. Well, we've got another anatomist, and we've got an archer with a wonky bow. Ugh, not wonky bow. What's the damage? It could it be wolves? Ah, Webnex. Oh, go on then. I guess we could do some Webnex. Let's get some food. All right. How bad could it be? Don't hold me to that. Probably pretty bad. Maybe taking that beast over would have been pretty useful right about now. Oh well. Oh gee, I wonder where they are. That wasn't that wasn't hard. Nine? And oh, that means more's gonna spawn as well. Right, come out the forest. You're fighting on my turf, not not fighting your way around. Come on, out the forest. Oh, you sneaky little bastard. You went back in, didn't you? I'm not doing this at night. No thank you. A shadow crosses over you from behind during camp. When you look back, Stephen is standing there with a rather distant look in his eyes. He cracks his knuckles in one long staccato before asking if he can train up Baffle Bogo. You ask why? The brawl looks down at you. Because he is weak. Hmm. Good enough. Let's see. See how long you can keep him going. Tough him up, will you? Show him how to brawl. Eh, let's, uh... Let us toughen him up. Toughen him up. I'm going to beat you until you break. A moment he's given to the trainee to acknowledge what is about to happen. He sucks in a great gulp of breath and then nods. Stephen wastes no time wheeling a bowler punch right into the man's chest. He bowls over at which point he is kicked in the shoulder repeatedly until he stands back up. Then a brawler continues to circle and deliver blows. An every strike is thrown with conviction. Most are meant to inflict pain but not what would, could be called irreversible damage. The brawler, if you wanted to, could kill this man with his bare fists. But that is not the purpose of this training. You realize that this mode of toughing up probably happens to the brawler himself at some point or another. You get plus two hit points, Baffle Bogo. There you go. You're a little bit injured, though. I'm sorry for that. But <laughs> you got 52. <laughs> Could have gone for the fatigue, but hey, a little bit of health never hurt anybody. Let's go find these spider bros. Come on. I'm trying to lead them out of the Oh, God, this is a mess. This way? Yeah, no, I, I get it. It's a light. Ooh. I assume it's this way. Well, couldn't pull him out of the forest and couldn't find anyone to help us, so... I feel like we're being jipped for our money, but hey. We're always being jipped for our money. Especially because more of them are going to spawn. If we kill quite a few of them, we might be alright. That's almost one. Right. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, here we go. Oh, boys. There you go, Baffle. Don't mess with Roderick, he knows how to melee as well. Just saying. Uh, suppose... Nah, I don't really want to lock that one in there just yet. How long will it take you to come around? Hmm. Go there for now. You come stand here. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Just go web goers for a bit. I can manage with go web go. Yeah, okay. Roderick, save yourself. Oh dear. Well, you dodged, and I'll give you that. Boys. Thank you, Wraith. Uh, break it. That song. You know, the song. Nice one, Baffle. You almost killed that one straight up. Perish. And almost perish. Alright. Make them flee. Make them scared. 
Smack him in the eye. You did hit him in the head, to be fair. That does count as the eye. Wow, I suck today. I'll acknowledge it. Oh, no bitey. No. It's final assault before dying. Ah. Pain. Yeah, payback. Pain back. Doesn't really work. Get him out of there. Pull him out. Oh dear. Alright, fine. Thank you. I'm back. Yeah, that's it, take care of. Uh, right. I'm a little bit worried about Baffle. But he's gonna go first, so he should be alright. Should. No guarantees, though. Let's break you out. Or not. You're basically dead. Save your Sen. Good job, buddy. Save this Sen. Get out. Stand in. No, you can't stand in front of him. You're too tired. Well, there's one there. There's one there. That's five. I think we've dealt with a large majority of them. Hold that thought. Stop biting everyone. Oh, nice. How is Igris? Nice. Yeah, he's okay. He's okay. Nice one, Steven. Don't really care about the whole one-on-one -on -one thing anymore. How are you doing? You did hit it. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, well. Go around. Uh, Baffle, you come here because you are poisoned out, as it were. God, slow and steady indeed. There we go. Everyone's a little bit more poisoned than I thought. Switch back. And you also go around. I imagine this is kind of it, to be fair. There is four, but they are cheesing it. God, you have to bite people, don't you? All right, Baffle, can you finish it? Because this is probably going to be the last one before the rest of them run away. And, you know, a lot of us are dying from poison, so please, please hurry up. Okay. Sorry, it was Igris. Oh, well. Everyone's fine from poison, right? Everyone loves poison, right? Okay, I assume that's it, right? Sports fans, that's it. Spider fans. I don't know why you'd be a spider fan, but spider fans. I think we're good. No one's gonna die from poison, Abby. Better not. I'll, I'll remember this forever and so will YouTube. And I'll bring it up all the time if you do. Okay, we're good? Oh, just leave, will you? That's like a weird amount of time. Okay, a little bit of XP here and there. Obviously, only small amounts of XP because they're only spitters. But it be right. Could have been much worse. We've had many, many altercations with Webnecks in the past. And they have sometimes really not ended out that well. How injured are we? Just light wounds due to the poison. Not really complaining too much. Right. Get paid, and we got some venison as well. Mmm, oh god, I love venison. I think I love venison more than lamb. Oh man. Ah, to have venison right now. Anyway, could buy some wood, I guess. I do indeed. You know what? We are definitely the sort of uh, company that would have wood all the time. Right. Ah, it suits perfectly. <laughs> Why didn't I think of it to begin with? <laughs> Oh wow, these are, this is cheap. I'd be it'd be rude not to, to be honest. Oh, we don't really need them, but we will need them for a rainy day, believe you me. Believe you me. Okay, I think I'm good with everything else. I think I'm actually going to go see what the hell is down here. Because there's evidently another place down here which we haven't found yet. So let's get a mosey on. No, but seriously, where's the settlement? How far does a man got to go? To kill some frawls. Wait, how, how are we doing? Light wounds. Light wounds. Light wounds. How bad is it? Mm, yeah, okay, maybe. Well, if I let them deck around and follow me for a bit, I could wait until midday and then butcher them. That sounds like a fun idea. Come on, follow, follow. Follow me. I could do both. I could find this place and kill some barbarians. Because, of course, why shouldn't I? Although, what the hell is going on here? Oh, God. This looks bloody dangerous. 
Everyone fine? Yeah, fine enough. Let's go. Ah, you thought you were attacking me. It's the other way around, bucko. All right, barbarians, it's time to bring you back to the fold of regular society. Which I mean, I'm just going to put you in a graveyard, but, you know. I mean, they probably have those. They're probably actually nicer than the graveyards we have in our settlements. Okay, anyway. Oh, God, there's a lot of stuff in the way to fire, isn't he? 45%? Eesh. All right. <laughs> yeah, cool. Nice start. I'll shut up now. Anyway. Ooh. Ouch. You get there? You can. Nice. Can you get there? We can. Stab him. You go help out there. Igris, you go help out here. I'll go help out up here. You cover fire for here. And we'll all live happily ever after. You heard me. We're all going to live happily ever after. What did I just say? Boys. You want to live or not? <laughs> oh, he, he died. He bled out. We don't really use their shield so much, do we? The answer is no. Uh, Grimald, stay there for a hot minute because you're not looking super fresh. Nice one, Baffle. Ooh, baby. Oh, he's so close to dying. Any of you guys injured? No, you're okay, actually. You're out. Eight. I should probably get ready to get changed out with Igris. I know I was going to cover these guys, but I think they're, I think they're good. I really do. Mm, not this time. Your shield up, buddy. It's cool. Grimold, come back. You're injured. Don't worry about it. Ooh, maybe worry about it a bit. Okay, that's all right. Bloody barbarians. Get him, Geji. Show him. Aw. Just to be safe, I'm going to switch out. Baffle, you are bleeding. So just, you know, bleed out a bit. Don't die, but, you know, you can bleed out a little bit. Come in. Ah, Shame. Okay, boys from the south, come up and join us in your rightful place in the north, pretty boys. Move around slightly. Go there, just get try and run. How's that? Jesus Christ, man. But Wolf's almost dead, just straight up from spears. So that happened. No, let me shoot him. Man, I was expecting this to be easy. I take it back. Also, this whole thing's a mess. Like, I can't, I can't even get around properly. That's another. Anyone close by who could... Ah, he's struck down, Wolf. He's not... Wolf isn't dead, though. He's struck down. He's still kicking. Wow, wow, we were. Steven. Direct line. You shot Steven? Please. Please. Thank you for decapitating him. Alright, Wolf, what do you got? You got a missing finger. Well, in all cases, it could have been much worse. I didn't expect it to be that hard, though. Like, they're just thralls, Pete. <laughs> So yeah, so it's quite a few of us are just level twos. Um, and the way we're leveling up at the moment is kind of slower than it was. All right, Wolf, you go in the back line for a bit. Grimold, you come up. Everyone else has got light wounds. They should be fine in a few days. It be re. Can't grow back the finger, but you'll live to see another day. Let's go find this bloody salmon.
Oh, more barbarians. Ah, this is what's happening down here, is it? Alright, cool. Came to the wrong place. Okay, well, we got to Duncan Toll. I mean, there's one quest, but I'm pretty sure... What is it? <laughs> Solid no from me, dog. But there is one good sign of coming here. You'll notice we've gone up by one. Welcome to the team, Hans Ditty Singer. He's got some okay uh, levels in, like, skills, I suppose. He does want to become a Polarine Master, which will be fine in terms of, like, melee skill. But, hell, I might even turn him into a bit of a hybrid himself, just because he is also going to be in the back line. He is a dayteller, but he is technically on the run for being quite... Well, let's say making a scene against, like, the people of the Inquisition. So he's, he's going to stay with us for a while and blend in in plain sight. We'll see how long that lasts, Hans. But prove your worth, and I won't tell anyone. Just take the oaths, just like we are. Be a good knob. And stop singing about it in taverns. Right! Oh, yeah. Also, they make wood here, so selling wood here is completely pointless. And they're terrified because of spiders. Because spiders bring down all the prices, apparently. So, let's move on. I hope this isn't the end of the road. Hey, guess what? It's the end of the road. <laughs> oh, god damn it! Really? What a weird... I know I keep saying it, but what a weird map. So, you've got, like, a bit of a north here. But there's such, like, a gap between some of these towns. It's pretty crazy. But I think we've almost found everywhere. I don't see... Obviously, we haven't been fully down to the south yet. So, there's, like, a few more here. Obviously, there's something here. The city-state of Al... Hazir? Al Hazif is there. And I assume there's two... Well, there will be two more southern states down here. I imagine one's down here and one's down here. But yeah. Weird map. Is there anything up from there? No. I think I found all the northern, you could say, settlements. Unless anyone can point out any others. I mean, there could be one here before we get down to the sea states. I guess I'm going to go... I could just go across the sea camp. Sounds pretty dangerous. Let's do it. Okay, game, don't play me. May there better be some land between here, because I'm going to be very upset. Okay, thank you. You have no idea how upset I was about to be. I'm tired of rivers getting in the way of everything. All right, almost at sea camp. Basically repaired everything. Yeah, five isn't too bad. Everyone's more or less fixed up. Wolf's got a little bit still of the pierced side, and obviously he's permanently missing his finger. How is that done in terms of... Yeah, it could be worse. I guess he is just going to be a tank. Oh, hello. There he is. I guess he is just going to be a tank anyway, I suppose, with a bit of a flail life, so... Yeah, you don't need fingers to be a tank. You just, like, sellotape the shield to your hand. I mean, I know sellotape doesn't exist yet. Flex tape, run seal, anything works. Just glue. Right, sea camp. What do you got? Ah, that's a one-star one. Oh, yeah. Where is it going? Teeth and forced. Am I going to get murked by going to teeth and forced and taking the thing up there? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Will you buy some wood from me? Yeah, I suppose I'm making 30 on it, so why not? There we go. Right. And that's also worth selling now, so that's fine. I'll keep scrammer sacks for the time being. I'll tell, sell two spears, don't really need them. You'll notice that the uh, throwing spears are a little bit missing. I give them for, to both Baffle Bogo and Hans. Their range isn't fantastic at the moment, but even if they hit once or twice, then it's kind of a worthy investment, honestly. And it will improve, so... Yeah, should be okay. Wow, there is a lot of people here. Why not? I've been super against them, but... Lord, take me, I'm gonna do it. It's not a lot of money, though, is it? So hey, let me have one last look at the guys. To be fair, right, to be fair, I haven't really seen a flagellant all game. And there is one person, actually quite near the top of the list. Actually, he's technically... First slash second on top of the list, so and he wants specifically to be a flagellant with a flail, obviously, because he's a flagellant. So sure? Geese is above two thousand. No try him out. A a brave flagellant. Well, technically his background was that he was a deserter who then turned flagellant. So maybe now that he's learned by being a flagellant, he's become braver than he was when he was deserter. So I think it kind of goes well. And a survivor also goes quite well into the deserter background turned flagellant as well, if we're going by roleplay methods. And also, his first original name is Leon Hard, which is a perfect knob name, even though we are changing his name in a second. So yeah, get on in. 
What sort of bullshit triple skill ranged guy is this for a flagellant? Like, come on! <laughs> ah, almost another triple skill melee person. But he's got a triple skilling ranged for some reason as a flagellant. Ah, I don't know. How long's his how long's his uh, flail? All right, fine. Does he throw it? Anyway, enough fun. Welcome, Rob. The red. Nice and simple. Nice and simple. Right. I don't really have any armor for you right now, so I am going to keep you in the back for a hot minute. and Just in case we get attacked, and I don't want you to die instantaneously. I'm going to have to think about what to do with this range skill. Because I know it's only 33, but it's a triple skill. We've also got a double skill in resolve, and a double skill in hit points. Obviously, because you're a flagellant, so you need the hit points. And your melee skill, although you haven't got any stars in it, it's okay. It's okay for a flagellant. Flagellants. God, it's one of those words I can't pronounce. Okay, well, let us move on and do this uh, caravan quest. And hopefully not die in the process. Don't do it, game. Don't do it, game. You find a rather drunk Stephen Hamfist is nursing the side of his face. Me, explains that the idiot tried to dance over a series of rocks, only to fall and bash himself in the face. At least he didn't kill himself. Hamfisted, you son of a bitch. Right, come on then. Shame I'm not getting any money for heads taken. Alright, listen up, caravan hands. If you want to survive, you've got to chip in. You hear? It's not all about throwing free free. This is what I mean. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. 55, 44. That would be great, though. You should probably kill him. Nice try, buddy. A lot of thugs. A lot of thugs. That should be okay. That should, like, even this out a bit. Uh. 29% you hit him, so fair enough on that one. All right, everyone move up a bit. You've got a broken nose, haven't you? So you fatigue by all these. A bit garbage. Okay. Well, you got. If you're gonna go there, you go there. You throw and go there. So you go there. Forty percent. Hey, Baffle Bogo with the ranged. Here he comes. See? Ah, damn. Stay up there. I'm gonna come there and almost instantly kill that guy. Guys, do you wanna get involved? You're not paying us a lot, you know. And I would like to survive. Preferably, actually, survive. If I die because of you guys not getting involved, I'm going to be very, very upset. Very. Oh, you've got throwing weapons as well, have you? Hey, I really need to give him some better arm armor. I need to give Rafe some way better armor. Boys, involved. Get in. No? <sighs> Fine. I guess we are the caravan guards' guards, so there is that. Shame. Oh boy. That's not someone who usually gets hit. Can you get run throw? 38's not great. But it has been working out quite well. Oh, you hit the guy in front. Nice. And you dodge both his attacks, even better. Oh, you almost killed him outright. Alright, Steven. And again? Oh, can you imagine? I'm gonna get in. Make him route. Throw it. Baffle Bogo! Baffle Bogo! With the throwing spear! Yo, daddy with the mace. I mean, you're right, get in there. There he is, Igris with Draken's tooth. Uh, if they moved then and got involved, I would have been very upset. I'd have been like, no, no, these are our kills now. You can't have them. These are ours. Ooh, can't hit me. Too much fancy dancing. Right, time to clear up. Time to clear up. Thank you, Grimald. You know, Gedge, you've killed enough people for a while. You come back, because I'm going to try and get some of the newer guys. Some kills. <laughs> Never mind. Um... That'll help. Make sure if he runs away, he's probably going to die. I'm going to do something similar and back off. 
because I want some of the new guys to get some kills, because I've leveled up a little bit already. Steven, I think you... I don't know what level you are, so come back. You got kill. You got one kill. You got one kill, buddy. Draken? Draken? Nice. Baffle. I think Baffle's killed enough, honestly. <laughs> These guys, he did, this guy didn't hear no bell, apparently. Well, he's going to pay for that. With his life. Hands, do you want to go punch him? I don't think he got the fatigue. Now he's running. God, has anyone got... Just end this man's career, please. Thank you. That's what you get for attacking us. Grimald leveled up. Very good. Go. Porch Gambeson, not bad. I could just suppose attach that wolf stuff to that and give that to uh, Wolf for Turk, I suppose. I've got 90 crowns. That's kind of made it a little bit worth it. Okay. Not bad. And hey, the throwing weapons did absolute work in that fight. Absolute work. More than the trading caravan people did. Wasters. We've almost done the Oath of Distinction as well. Ooh, hello, what's this? It better not be more spiders. Back off, Spider Bros. I just want to get to this place and call it a day. This contract. Nice, and they're well supplied, so let's see what they've got. See? I did a caravan contract. Happy now. <laughs> I doubt they'll have anything. No, we don't really have a weaponsmith or anything. This was a place which wasn't really much point in doing it, because they've only got a taxidermist, which is, you know, fine. Um, the important thing is, we survived. And I could actually buy this on the cheap now. And I might just do that. Let me just sell some stuff very quickly. Don't need that. Don't need that. I'll keep the dagger and give that to someone. Uh, I'll keep that. Uh, Rob the Red. Do you want to be a two-handed flail or a one-handed flail? Let me know. I'll keep it for the time being. Get rid of these extra shields. I don't really need. Uh, to be fair, actually, now I think about it. Man, we're all at low levels, aren't we? Oh, boy. Uh, you switch to that. And then... I wish I'd keep it for even, like, a higher armor. Ah, screw it. I'll just make one at one point. There you go, buddy. Wolf the Turk is now a wolf indeed. And Rob, you can wear that. And have a shield. Just realize you don't have a shield. And now you can get involved in the fight, because I don't feel as worried about you. As worried about you. I'm still a little bit worried. Minus two, minus one. Keep that one. Brain weapons. They work. <laughs> what do you know? Okay. God, plus six. This is gonna, this is gonna take a bit of doing. Uh, but to be fair, I'll take a plus two. Why not? Uh, I should probably, 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 probably take Colossus just to keep you alive. Although crippling strikes of a cleaver obviously works dividends, as it were. But Colossus to keep you alive, you've got an okay amount of fatigue, to be honest. Let's go get, I'm just gonna take Colossus. And then I might give you Steel Brow so you can't get critical hit in the head next. And then we'll go from there. We'll go from there. Alright. We have almost finished the Oath of Station. I am going to take this quality wood because we are made of quality wood. I assume this is just going to be... Follow the tracks. That couldn't be too bad. That could not be too bad. We've got Thrizzo, who... The person who wants to be an atomist is getting closer and closer to the top of the list now. So hey, we're getting there. We got Sorrel, we got Jost the Preacher, who's a monk. I'm pretty sure monks are pretty high in um resolve, aren't they? And we do we are actually looking for someone with a high resolve who is probably gonna be a backliner, because it'll probably work, and then I'll probably probably ride the troops on him. And then after that, there's an archer that I'm looking for. Or, you know, just some guy with a sling. I am gonna do tell you what. I am gonna do one more contract today. And then make some money, and then I'll make a decision. I need more tools. There you are, yeah, Lily Livered Lynn Lickers. Whatever that means. Also, we're out of tools, so I have to switch some armors around with people who aren't using them right now. And I honestly just keep forgetting to give Grimold some better armor. To say that he's just been sitting around in a bloody thick tunic this entire time. And he still managed to kill five people, so props to Grimold. Come here, you silly beans. Ugh. Right. Great start. 
Well, at least some of our ranged people start on a hill, but they do also have, what, two? Two ranged. I assume they're not going to move either, are you? Can we shoot from here? We can. 51, 41, 41 of the old raiders. Shame. Okay. You'll notice that Rafe is wearing the wolf armor for the time being. Because Wolf is actually currently in the hospital, I guess. <laughs> Technically. Alright, come on, boys. Feels like it's way out of the arrows, but that's kind of boring. We do also have the high ground, which is probably why we're not moving. Fine, I'll move up. You want us to move up? I'll move up. I'll show you. That'll learn you. This'll learn you. Me hit. Not the person I was aiming at, but you know what? I'm fine with it. You stay there for a second, Hans. I might be able to bait them in. Oh, That's a damn shame. That's better. You stand in front of the... Uh, Grimold? I know Rob's new, but oh god, they've gone straight for him. <laughs> That's bad. Operation Save the New Guy has begun. Let me repeat that. Operation Save the New Guy, oh my lord, has begun. Better! <sighs> okay, fine. Maybe he can save himself? No, oh, riposte, is it? I respect the riposte. Oh, boy. Better get to work. <laughs> Come on, guys. 21. Break the shield. Wow, I didn't even break the shield. Jesus hands. Switch to that. We'll need that in a second. Uh, shield up. You almost killed him, to be fair. Smack him back. Oh, that would have been an amazing one, too. Oh, well. A shame. But not the end of the world yet. So who do I need to get help with? Come on, then. I'll come in here. Oh dear. Oh, what happens to your shield, mate? That is not what I call stunning someone. But, you know what? Fine. Oh, hands close. Doing good. Hopefully, Rob the Red survives long enough to also do good. I forgot about the riposte. Why does uh, Steven don't do it? Ka chow. Surprised he's not running, to be honest. Props to... Oh, he's running in. That is kind of ballsy of you. Okay, fine. How much are you bleeding by? Just shield up, buddy. Please survive. Good. Lad. Good knob. Please not messing. Oh, boy. Guys. That's better. What are we doing right now? Slaying, that's what. Ka-chow. That was a bit of a weird run. Can you get him? Get him. A pissy little knife. Shield's gone, isn't it, mate? Who's next? It is that guy. Not anymore. Nobody kills my men except... Well, nobody gets my men killed except me. No, wait. Whatever. <laughs> Nobody's dying today. Not on my watch. We're only missing one finger. I think we can live with that. Get him! I don't know if we can reach him. Oh, no. Maybe we can. Maybe we can just reach this scumbag. Yes. Yes, we can. No mercy. Told you, no mercy. And you're gonna have whoops. 
Not really, but it's okay. I think we're almost done with this oath, so next time we should actually start getting XP all round now. Oh, we got one more shirt as well, and we got some bear. Keep saying hats. I'm gonna keep saying hats. We got some bear hats. I think I'll give that actually to you know what, Grimold, you've been you've been waiting for it. Here you go, buddy. Not so screwed anymore, are you? You thought 73 um, armor, uh, 73 fatigue. Sorry, so that's actually not bad. Uh, he was a naked man, but that's okay. Uh, I might switch you out with Steven for a bit. Because he, Steven's got a broken nose for one to four days. So actually... Oh, don't need to switch him out. Come in some naked line, my friend. Take his clothes back off. Put his clothes back on. Oh, I guess you're wearing that again for a bit. Cool. Let's go hand this bad boy in. And get everyone healed up and see if anyone else interesting has spawned. And... This should finish any time now. Any time now. It's finished, man. Guess it's going to be when the next one comes up. Fine. I'll wait till then. Hallelujah. Here we go. I know it wasn't like... I suppose it's 10 days from when you take the oath. So even if it's like nighttime or whatever, that's just when it'll prop. So, many swords masters practice solitude. The thought is that they are not fighting the men in front of them, they are fighting for the spaces in between. While well, you cannot possibly understand the small nuances which differentiate a swordmaster from a would-be sellsword hack in air, you realise the kernel of truth in the axiom. Oath takers, though honourable and diligent, are still at heart, brutal, courageous, and absurdly overconfident. The oath of distinction followed the swordmaster's art of spirit, and the oath takers in mind. Standing out on their own, each man sought to prove himself to his own accord, and prove himself worthy of others' praise. And if any unbiased lady, lady? I've never even seen that word, lady, I think, happened to be watching, I assume it's similar to like deity, then it'd be damn impossible to say the Northern Oath Brotherhood, the big old knobs, did not distinguish itself as a fine outfit. But distinction be damned, we can't be glory hogging for all our days. On to the next! Everyone is happy and gained renown as Oath Takers. Okay, well that's finally cracked off. And whilst we're here, let me introduce you to our newest friend. I did end up hiring that monk. Welcome to Eldrick. And you'll notice that I put this in capitals, the loud knob. Because Jesus Christ is he loud. He's a loving soul. He's an adventurous monk man. He just wants to join and help out but he won't stop shouting about everything. He's like that guy from the Goonies. But his resolve's kind of okay. I know he's only got a one, a one star in it, but his resolve is already better than everyone else's, except my own, which is saying something, because I've got a triple, triple star in resolve. So, you know, I think it will come up quite high eventually if I keep popping some into it. He's also got a double skill in melee, so he should be actually all right as a backliner. We'll see how we can play around with him at the end of the day. But we are now at capacity, so I'm actually going to start switching people out. Unless people start dying, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for today. We've got a few more of you guys in. We've now got Eldrak the Loud Knob. Jesus Christ. We got Baffle, who's now got Baffle's in the last episode, but he also now has a bit more throwing fun. Grimmel's looking a bit better. We've now got Rob the Red, who hasn't killed anyone yet, but he hasn't died either, and I see that as progress. Igris Draken with his Draken Tooth doing pretty well. Yo Daddy is still sticking it out. I think he probably misses Yo Mama a bit, though. They've been separated for a while. Steven, ham-fisted, changed his name legally soon. He said it here. He will do it. Uh, he's still alive. I'll take that. Geji, absolutely slaying. Wraith, also absolutely slaying. Warbrand's working out. Hope we find a better double-handed sword soon. Wolf, kicking about still with another flare. We've got flails for days. And thanks to the update, flails are actually now viable. And you've now actually got the wolf pelt, so you're looking pretty sick. Pretty sick. Hands, how many people did you kill? Oh, you didn't actually kill anyone. But man, your resolve checks a lot of people. All of the throwing spears in that last fight, you must have hit with almost all of them. Which is insane. So... And you've only got 38 currently. Imagine what you're going to be when you're, like, way higher. I'm me, and Roderick just keeps popping people off. So, I'm quite happy with all that group by now, and I can't wait to find even more on you down the road. As always, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. There's something more on there you'll enjoy. And as always, feel free to subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when the Oath-Takers are going for another stroll down these knob-filled valleys and halls. Only because we're there. Like I said before at the start of the...
that the episode. Hopefully, legends get updated soon so we can go back to the cultists, but for the time being, we are going to have to leave them in the background for a bit, which is a shame, but I will hopefully not let them have to gather up dust too long. I'll keep an eye on the Nexus mods and go from there. But for now, that is ciao from me, guys and girls. See you next time, knobs.